Hello guys, good morning! Another day in the Philippines and today we are here in the largest city in the Philippines, Quezon City. Wow, what an adventure this is gonna be! And we're starting to walk here at this beautiful mural. Amazing ride! And look at all those flags up there. We can see the flag of Greece, you can see the Dutch flag over there. And we even have the Brazilian and the Belgian flag as well. This is actually a memorial about world peace. So see, Belgium, you cannot read it well. The capital is Brussels. Then the official language is French, Dutch and German. And here we have the world peace bell. Look at that. We are now heading to one of the city's most popular landmarks, the Quezon Memorial Circle. It's a park and monument dedicated to President Quezon. So uh, let's check that one out, guys. And here we have a nice statue of some kids playing a game or something like that. What is the game, Mads, they're playing here? Uh, that is a recreational game which is, they call it Tumbang Preso. Oh. So they hold the like, sleepers and with the, the can. And what they do then? He tried to hit the can with the slippers? Yes, yes, precisely. And then if he hits the can, what happens then? And then they will catch their sleepers and they go back in their certain base. Ah, okay, yeah. okay. Never heard about this game before, but uh, it's quite interesting. Thank you yeah. for explaining, Matt. <laughs> And here we have it guys, look at this huge memorial, wow! So here we have another statue of a game they're playing, what is this Matt? This is Chinese garter. And how okay. they play it? So they play it to three more participants and they, they come over with the garter, they jump over with ah. the garter. So it's actually a little bit like high jumping. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. That's nice, thank you Mats. And uh, now let's uh, finally go to the memorial, which is over there. So guys, we arrived here at the Quezon Memorial and look how epic this monument is. Wow, amazing right? The area around the memorial is huge as well, 27 hectares to be exact. And there's a lot of things to do. There's for example a little zoo here, there is like a park for kids to play, a lot of green space to chill and relax. Look at these beautiful trees, these plants, a lot of benches to relax like Matt is doing right now. Wow, incredible. We will have some fun here today, I already know it. And over here guys we have the statue of Manuel El Quezon. And uh, I don't know if you can see it, but up high there on the memorial you have three beautiful angels placed on top. And uh, that's actually representing the three main islands in the Philippines, Mindanao, Luzon and Visayas. Wow, and then Matt's also told me that at the base there are like bas reliefs works depicting scenes in the history of the Philippines and as well of uh, Quezon's life. Like over there we can see the Battle of Mactan. It's a little bit odd though that they aren't ordered in chronological order, but uh, yeah, it's a beautiful beautiful monument. And here we have even more scenes depicting important events in the Philippine history. Stunning bash relief works. Incredible. To be honest, I really didn't know this monument was so impressive, especially when you walk up close. It's uh, incredible. 
66 meter in height is this mausoleum containing the remains of the second official president of the Philippines, Manuel L. Quezon, and of course his uh, wife, First Lady Aurora Quezon. And uh, actually, I think we can go inside here. The 66 meter in height is uh, actually representing the age when Manuel L. Quezon died of tuberculosis. And now let's go inside here, guys, and check this one out. The Museo Ni Manuel Quezon stands as a testament to the life and legacy of one of the Philippines' most prominent figures, Manuel L. Quezon, the country's second president. The museum offers visitors a glimpse into Quezon's remarkable journey from his humble beginnings to his crucial role in shaping the nation. The exhibit showcases his personal belongings including furniture, clothing and documents, providing a visible connection to the man who led the Philippines through its turbulent period of Commonwealth and World War II. To be honest, I think that Manila looked a lot more prettier in the 1930s. Look, how beautiful! Do you agree with me or not? Look at it! Manila looked amazing in the 1930s. And here we also have the flag that was on the casket of the president. And here the president on a sick bed. And this is actually a real photograph of Manuel Alcazon on a sick bed. Yeah, it is a, a small but interesting museum here, and it's totally free to enter. So. Uh, if you don't know what to do when in the area, absolutely worth checking out in my opinion. You can learn a lot about the history in the Philippines, about the president, about the time of the Second World War. Yeah, quite interesting. Right, Matt? Mm -hmm. Just like that guys, we're back outside. Yeah, what a beautiful visit to the museum that was within the end, seeing the beautiful tomb of uh, Manuel Al Quezon and of course the first lady Aurora Quezon. And uh, now we're outside here at the other side of the memorial and it looks beautiful as well. Wow, what a nice visit. So, what will we do now, Matt? I know what we will do. We will get the drink first because I'm thirsty and I guess Matt's too. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. So guys, here we have the map of the Quezon Memorial Circle. And uh, here we have already been the World Peace Bell. And we had a little walk here. To end up at the memorial now we're here at rock garden so what we can do here let's see they have a volleyball court basketball court oh the circle of joy playground that's something for mats i think yeah they have a lot of things here actually a museum a bike station where you can rent the bike there are a few things we can do here let's go to the Circle of Joy playground and everywhere you have these nice places with uh, 
some plants and then of course the benches where you can sit and relax with your friends or just enjoy a meal or a drink and everywhere as well are lovely kitties but this one hurt his leg kitty oh so sad so uh you want that drink right there yeah let's go there Matt. let's go let's get that drink another lovely kitty and over there another lovely kitty and over here a lovely big kitty <laughs> <laughs> oh and look over there they have like a stage I think uh, at the weekend it must be fun here maybe some events there people dancing you know and uh, I think this is the big fountain which unfortunately isn't working look at the ground all the different colors so beautiful here the fountain would be much more nicer when it would be working another view on the memorial oh they have a lot of shops here with all sort of beverages shakes <laughs> even some food let's see what they have here you want this one I will also take a Mountain Dew. Oh, it's so cold. <laughs> Hello, how are you? <laughs> Don't be shy. <laughs> Thank you so much for the Mountain Dew. You're welcome, sir. <laughs> mountain Dew. So uh, let's sit here on the bench, Max. Relax a little bit. Or you want to sit near the kitties? <laughs> Look, some lovely kitties. Let's have a mango. That mango this one. Yeah. Like How much is it for the mango? Thank you for the mango. Bye bye. Take care. Have a nice day. So, so we're gonna eat some mango now. Yes. Mango and salt and spice. Mango and spice. You want to sit there? Yeah, let's sit down and have some mango. Always better to eat when seated. Not when standing. Hello, how are you? The people in the Philippines are always so friendly. They always want to be on camera. <laughs> yeah. We want to be famous. So, let's have some mango. Let's have some mango, guys. Mmm. Very sour. Good for colds. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it's very sour. Oh my god. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> no, I'm not the biggest fan of sour foods. I like spicy foods. Even sweet foods I don't like, except as a dessert. <laughs> but uh, yeah, most of all I like spicy food. Spicy? Yeah, spicy like, food. Like? <laughs> like the chili ice cream. <laughs> Chili ice cream uh, that I tried in Legaspi. <laughs> I tried the hottest one. Yeah, you should check it out. It's over here. <laughs> after, after 20 minutes later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was an explosion on the toilet that time. <laughs> I forget to take a video with that. Time. Yeah. 20 minutes later. <laughs> <laughs> You're so evil to me today. You're so evil. Uh, see how she's making fun of me at <laughs> least I had the volcano level and it's really really spicy I would not recommend it to be honest because it doesn't taste like ice cream at all it's just like spicy chilies in your mouth <laughs> it's, uh, it's crazy but yours you took second level yeah that little bit tasted like ice cream but the the fourth level volcano one for sure didn't taste like ice cream to me <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi. You're a blogger? Yes, yes. 
Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You're a vlogger as well? Yeah. Oh, nice to meet you. <laughs> okay. What's your channel? Captain Pinas. Captain Pinas. Oh. I'm Robbie Travels. Okay. Nice to meet you. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, my bike. Oh, it's a very nice bike. <laughs> Have okay. some fun, okay? Have okay. a nice day. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Take care. Bye -bye. Yeah. And over here, you can try so many foods. Like you can see here. Even some barbecue. The hot dogs. The isaw, the pork barbecue. The chicken. So lovely. Even the sasik. One of my favorites. Some tea, shakes. Another favorite of mine, the tempura. What? You want mango? You want mango? Yes. Yeah, take it if you want. No problem. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> Hello, could I get another mango and one bottle of water, please? Thank you so much. So we got our water and now we're gonna give this mango here you get a full one Thanks. from me <laughs> have a nice day okay bye bye, bye, -bye. yeah the kit was so nice you know and uh, because yeah they came ask can we have some mango but there were only a few pieces left that I said okay why not buy them a full mango at least they don't come begging for money because that's something I don't like when they say give me money give me money but if they actually come for some mango or something like that <coughs> I give it with a pleasure you know yeah so I think we should uh, see what is more in this area so let's go I guess so guys if you want to avoid crowds here at the Quezon Memorial we are here on a Wednesday 11 30 a.m and look nobody around here except a few people and you have this place almost all by yourself if you come here during the weekend yeah then it will be very very crowded but of course there would be a nice atmosphere as well people singing and dancing there maybe the fountain may be working you know but if you want to avoid crowds, I would say come here on a weekday in the morning. My beloved Mats is not very active today. All she does is just sitting there. <laughs> yeah. And I'm so excited to visit this place, walk around making pictures and everything. And Mats is just sitting there. I was making some pictures, Matt. Oh. Yeah, and you're just sitting here. I was just telling to my subscribers that, uh, yeah, you don't do much today. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm so excited to visit this place and you're just sitting there. <laughs> I don't get it at all. <laughs> Come, let's get your picture taken there. So you at least did something today. <laughs> I will take the picture there. <laughs> Look guys, they even have a pirate ship here. <laughs> Amazing. But I guess all the rides are still closed now. Let's see, I think this is the entrance. So what do they have here? A haunted house. Bumper car, sky bike, the ship. Star Wars. It's more for kids actually. Ah, something for couples as well. The aqua bike, the dolphin or the ducky. And this here is the entrance but uh, unfortunately it's not operating right now. Over here they have the schedule of the park. It's from 4 p.m. But actually Matt, it's only rides for kids. Of course they have bump cars here. I know you like that. And look at this, here they have shops selling all type of plants and flowers. It's nice too. Look, many plants and many flowers. Oh look, a calamansi plant. To grow your own calamansi to put with your sisik. 
I really love to walk in places like this with all the greenery so beautiful all those spotted plants and since the circle of joy park wasn't open we just go nearby to this wildlife park right over here Ninoy Aquino Parks and Wildlife Center that's where we will go guys here it says 30 pesos per person so we're inside the park now guys so let's see what kind of animals they have here wow they already have these lovely plants shaped in animals this is a, a dolphin, I think. And over there we have like a, a Philippine deer. Oh my God. What a noise. Look at that. We are saying hi to you. See, even the birds want to say hi in the video. <laughs> so over here we have the parrots, the small birds, the Philippine brown deer, the pigs, and even a turtle pond. Oh my god, what a noise! It's insane! What is this? Never I have heard something in my life like this before. It's so loud! You can still hear them yelling. Insane. But look at this nice park here, so nice. It's getting a lot more peaceful here. And those ones are really quiet. Look at that beautiful bird, guys. Incredible. Hello! Mother Nature really made some beautiful creatures, right? And over there, guys, you can see some iguanas relaxing near the water beautiful creatures as well and over there we have the crocodile relaxing in the shade waiting for his prey to come by I got ah. you <laughs> oh. <Ow. laughs> she was so scared guys I'm sorry look it's the favorite animal of Matt's they're just chilling there Matt's where are you going Matt's <laughs> the python beautiful creatures one of the longest snakes in the world i had a real big one in my hands in bohol if you want to see that here's the video the eagle over there he's looking at me thinking what a big creature is looking at me oh another one look over there And over there you can see a lot of monkeys as well but uh, it seems we cannot go there so sad i love those cheeky monkeys always trying to steal your stuff <laughs> one time i actually saw a monkey jump into a baby carriage and he took some food from there and jumped again into the, the tree but it can happen with your phones it can happen with your wallet here we have another small crocodile but uh, this is a little bit sad you know he has no space at all and here look at those lizards a cheeky monkey hello monkey well I will not disturb you eating so have a nice meal monkey enjoy your papaya oh another python here oh yeah it's there oh it's a big one look at this it looks so long it's still the end there Max, come over here. Look at this python. Come here. Don't be afraid. It's huge. And here they have another snake. Smaller one. But I'm really impressed about this python. He's huge, you know. They love the monkey. Who doesn't love monkeys? Look, Mats. 
Love birds. Yeah. When they will kiss. They kiss me. Oh, they oh look, they're gonna kiss. They're gonna kiss. They're gonna kiss. They're gonna kiss. <laughs> <laughs> two love birds there and two love birds here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Oh, there are two! Yeah, two tigers! Oh! Rock. Beautiful! My favorite animal is here as well. The tiger. Oh, so cute! Wow! When I see tigers, I just fall in love. Cannot help it. Ah! Oh. Tigers! The whale shark! We could have brought some food here and have like a nice picnic in the gazebos. It's quite nice. See, people are enjoying themselves there on the grass. Somebody laying there resting on the bench. Look at this lagoon, guys. Wow. Beautiful. Let's go down there. I already see it's gonna be beautiful. Wow. Look at this. People even have their wedding picture taken there. I wouldn't mind living there to be honest. Waking up with a lovely view like that. Many people here making photos because it is a lovely place. Look at the ladies in the water. Oh. Lovely. Look at this shot with the reflection in the water. Well, I think that was a nice lagoon, right, Matt? Yeah. More photo shoots taking place here. And over there we have the grotto. And another beautiful view on the lake from the other side. So this is the grotto, I guess. Look, Matt, you left your broom. <laughs> no evil laugh this time, Matt. I'm tired. <laughs> You're tired? Uh, yeah, if you walk all the way with Robbie Travels, you for sure will be tired because I want to see as much as possible. Look here, the grotto. Beautiful statue of Virgin Mary. You're tired, Matt. beautiful and over there is the bridge where we were taking pictures a lot of garbage bottles and plastic bags of chips and everything in the water so sad in this beautiful place okay guys this was it for this video around the Kazon area I hope you guys enjoyed it and I see you again soon on another adventure bye bye from Robbie bye for much and Take care guys, cheers, bye bye!